Hey everybody, welcome to our Species Spotlight on the Blue Grammy, otherwise known as the Three Spot Grammy, the Gold Grammy, the Opaline Grammy. All those common names are basically the same fish. The scientific name of this fish is actually Trichopterus trichopterus. Uh, the native habitat of this fish is basically throughout uh, Southeast Asia. And the typical types of habitats uh, that would uh, best represent where it's typically found are those that are found throughout uh, Indonesia, in fact, and consists of slower moving rivers, streams, uh, heavily planted, very slow, small, uh, slow moving uh, rivers that are either that or or stagnant, in fact. Um, and they prefer these areas that are actually stagnant and really choked out with, uh, with plants. Now we're going to talk a little bit about behavior, tank size, setup, uh, lighting conditions, and so forth. Uh, the Blue Grammy is generally actually a peaceful species, although as they age and mature, get larger and have ideas of breeding, uh, they can become somewhat territorial and are a little bit more aggressive. Therefore, uh, you want to avoid tank mates that are more peaceful or shall I say more docile in nature. Uh, Mid-sized uh, species such as rasboras, peaceful barbs, uh, tetras, mid-sized tetras, catfish, loaches, those are all better mixes with, uh, with the Blue Grammy. When it comes to coloration of the Blue Grammy, the name is self-explanatory. It's basically overall blue. The three spot basically has one eye counting as a spot with two others on the bottom, more, more or less equally spaced. Uh, its overall color is a kind of a pale blue, more consistent throughout the body. The opaline variant of, of the same fish is basically a darker, more indigo kind of blue with a more mottled kind of pattern to it. And then, of course, you have the gold grammy, which is uh, self-explanatory. A lot of the gold, species, uh, gold specimens have very, very nice red eyes. Uh, so those are basically the color patterns on that fish. When it comes to size, um, the male blue grammy is actually the slightly smaller. They max out at about five inches. The females get up to about five and a half inches in size. Another difference between the two is the fact that the male has a much more pointed and elongated dorsal fin versus the female, uh, especially as they mature. The female gets up to about five and a half inches and will develop a more barrel shaped kind of body as she fills up and row with row and so forth uh, as they as they mature in age. Um, when you're keeping a group of these uh, fish together uh, and you're talking about mature individuals, uh, you need to you need to consider aquariums that are a little bit larger and you need to be densely planted with a lot of structure. Uh, to counteract some of the territorial habits that uh, males will develop as they uh, as they start to seek out areas to spawn and construct a nest with it. Tank setup for blue grammys should typically consist of uh, driftwood, uh, some densely planted areas, uh, somewhat dimmer lighted conditions are better, so select your plant species accordingly. A slight amber tint uh, to the water will portray these fish in the best way possible. Uh, if you're talking about initially purchasing a small group of younger fish, uh, two inch size or so, you can keep them in a 20 to 30 gallon to start off with. But uh, if you're going to maintain the group, let's say of four to six, uh, you're going to need uh, to, to think about at least doubling that to a 50 to 60 a gallon aquarium as they mature. The Blue Grammy is in fact an anabantid, uh, and as they mature, as I mentioned before, males will get more aggressive. They seek out a territory. They will build a bubble nest in a community type aquarium installation. And for that reason, you need the type of setup we mentioned. Uh, but you may want to consider if you've got some other nice fish in there and they're starting to stress the rest of the community out, uh, you may want to consider moving them to a breeding tank. Uh, you can set them up in a similar way to bettas only on a larger scale, something like a half filled 15 gallon aquarium uh, with the same type of structure you would, you would utilize for uh, breeding bettas, condition the female and then introduce her when she's ready for reproduction. When it comes to water conditions favored by your Blue Grammys, uh, moderate to more mild water movement is really preferred by these fish. Uh, pH range of about 6 to 7.5. Uh, 
a hardness range of about 2 to 18 degrees and a temperature range of about 75 to 82 degrees or 24 to 28 degrees Celsius uh, is about the right range for them. Uh, those are the typical parameters that you want to be considering. Obviously values within the middle of the pH and hardness range and temperatures more around 80 degrees Fahrenheit are more or less optimal for these for this fish. As far as feeding is concerned, uh, blue grammies are not a fussy feeder by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, they prefer, do prefer to feed at the surface of the water. They have an upturned mouth, which is relatively small considering the size of the fish, especially when it's adult. Uh, they do consume uh, insect larvae and so forth in the wild. So selecting a uh, dry food such as fluval bug bites that is based on insect protein, a high inclusion rate of it, is a very good basic diet for them. Any one of a number of the form formulations will work really well for, uh, for the blue grammy um, flakes or smaller granules. Uh, when it comes to supplementation, I would say include some vegetable-based flake food on a regular basis throughout the week for them as well. And uh, when it comes to frozen foods, things like shrimp, daphnia, bloodworms, glassworms, those are all great uh, supplements to give them on a once a week basis or so. In summary, we're really big fans of the Blue Grammy. We love its unique blue coloration. The gold variants in particular, very beautiful with its red eyes that you have on some specimens as well. Uh, the tank setup should be, you know, typically between 50 and 75 gallons if you really want to enjoy several of them uh, along with other community fish. Uh, that'll provoke provide plenty of room for the male getting a little bit uh, rambunctious on the odd occasion. You definitely want to feature some areas of den dense plantation. And the type of look you're looking for is something with a lot of driftwood and plants and a little bit lower in terms of lighting levels. So there you have it, everybody. Hope you enjoyed our species spotlight on the Blue Grammy. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe below. Until the next time.